Question 56, Acer Blue Paper. 56, at 60 degrees, pure water has a pH value that is. So basically, when water undergoes self-ionization, it splits to form a hydrogen ion and a hydroxide ion. The hydrogen ion is a acid, and a, the hydroxide ion is a base. So every time one of these molecules splits, the water molecule splits, we're gonna be producing one of both an acid and a base. So therefore, we'd expect the water, if it's just pure water, to be overall neutral. So that's the first fact, that this, this water is neutral because every time, well, sorry, because we're never going to have an excess of either acid or base. Um, the, so therefore, the water will overall be neutral. To figure out what the pH value is, well, what we know is that every time we split up this iron, we produce one hydrogen ion and one uh, hydroxide ion. So therefore, H plus is equal to OH minus. And we know that also the equilibrium constant is one times 10 to the negative 13. So this is equal to the concentration of hydrogen times the concentration of hydroxide ions over the concentration of water. And as per usual, since the concentration of water is constant, we get rid of that. So we're left with this, 1 times 10 to the negative 13. Um, therefore, as concentration of hydrogen ion is equal to concentration of hydroxide ion, we get H plus squared is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 13. So therefore, the concentration of hydrogen ions is equal to 10 to the negative 6.5. From there, we can insert this into our pH equation, and the pH will be 6.5. So overall, the pH is going to be less than 7, but the water will be still neutral. So A is the correct answer.